I didn't necessarily think we were gonna have like a runaway in this category, but <laughs> that one ran away. Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to be talking about the best lip glosses of all time according to you. Once again, I wanted to get your opinions on the top products out there because like I've said, I'm tired of giving my opinions. I'm tired of it. I've been on YouTube for a long time. I'm tired of giving my own opinions. I want to hear your opinions. So I've done this before with eyeshadow palettes and I did want to do it starting with some lip categories and I thought I would start it off with glosses because gloss is just one of my favorite things. Technically right now I'm wearing a lip oil. Mm -mm. Uh, but I did have some when I asked on my Instagram there was quite a few lip oils that came in as well So we're just kind of counting them all together I went through and made a list of the top glosses that everyone was saying and then I would tally as the same answers were coming through and I have uh, a top six I have a top six to share with you, which I think was the eyeshadow palettes as well and there was definitely a runaway category in here, which I was a little bit surprised at but before we get started normally i was doing my videos and starting with an outfit of the day but i have just moved i'm in a new space and i haven't quite fully figured out my filming setup because i've mostly been like focusing on vlogs but i will try to show you the sweater i'm wearing I, honestly i just have it on with biker shorts because i've been organizing my apartment all day Okay, maybe if I like step to the side, we can kind of see the outfit, but I just got this sweater in and I really love it and I think that it's perfect for fall. So I'm just, I'm filming this video and then I'm going to go grab some sushi with friends because I've had friends over at my apartment helping me organize all day. So I want to take them out for dinner to say thank you. But I do have a pretty recent vlog that is up on my channel. You can check that out. I had family visit me in Las Vegas, a uh, pretty epic container store haul and then I am vlogging this weekend as well and I want to show some of the organization that we're doing and how we're getting things set up in the new apartment so that is what we were working on I wanted to also film a regular video as well and I've been wanting to come back and get your opinions because these are some of my favorite videos to do Ali Kleins does these videos a lot and I just really enjoy them I enjoy hearing your voice I'm all about community and I want to hear what you have to say and what some of your favorite products are so let me know if there's any other categories that you want to give your input on and don't forget to follow me over on Instagram I am March Beauty Word and that I put in my stories and I do the question feature and that is where I get your input so I can make these videos so when I was going through the responses these are some that I saw quite a bit house labs House Labs, I believe, is a lip oil. I did see that one pop up quite a bit. I haven't tried the House Labs yet for myself. Uh, I also saw Vive, and this is a Jamie Genevieve's makeup line. Again, haven't tried those lip glosses. Those might be lip oils as well, uh, but those got mentioned quite a bit. Um, City Beauty actually had quite a few mentions of their clear glosses. I know City Beauty is really well known for their glosses as well. Uh, the Dior this one was a little bit of a surprise to me that dior was not higher up there because every like to me the dior lip oil that thing went viral like i was searching for it for the longest time i finally got one but i have said in my review that the dior lip oil didn't like blow me away i personally didn't think it was all that long lasting and i just feel like i have other lip oils that i don't have to reapply like as frequently so for me, I'm like, I'm cool with where it was, but because I've seen so much hype about it and it's one of those, you know, viral products again, I felt like it was going to get mentioned way more than it actually did. NYX Cosmetics, the, like, the OG, like, butter lip glosses, uh, those, that was a blast from the past. I was like, okay, yep, I, I remember having to go out and buy so many of those. And ever, like so many people on YouTube were duping really popular lip products with these ones from NYX. A lot, a lot of the NYX butter lips back in the day. I also saw quite a few for the Milani lip oils as well. And then also what I am wearing today from Sigma Beauty. This one is the Renew Lip Oil and I wear the shade Tint. I personally wish that this one would have been a little bit higher like in the top six category because 
this is definitely one of my favorites when i did my top three in every category i did mention the sigma beauty and the lip oil again some people were writing in saying like they weren't sure if by gloss i also meant lip oil i just kind of lumped everything together so i'm wondering if i would have said lip oil specifically if the sigma would have gotten a little bit higher up there but i do love the ones from sigma definitely recommend them uh, my code with sigma is samantha i did also see i thought this was quite nice because i saw my own glosses with ofra mentioned quite a bit as well and i actually saw all three shades mentioned i will say the most mentioned gloss from my trio that i created was in queen and that just gave me all types of feels uh i don't have anything to show right now because i still have not unpacked my makeup collection i'm still working out of one makeup bag and I have for the entire month since my other apartment got broken into and I moved and all of that. So that's what kind of what we were working on today was getting it set up so I can start to unpack and be able to organize my makeup collection. I've been wearing like the same products over and over and over again, but that's just what happens when you move and you move really unexpectedly. Uh, but Queen was mentioned the most. So I have done a collaboration with Ofra Cosmetics and we came out with a trio of glosses. I love every single one of them, but Queen is definitely really special because it's named after my dog Aries. Uh, and because I was going for more of like a bronzy color to kind of match her coat and then it has sparkle in it. I love the glosses. Still some of you know my personal favorites. Uh, and then behind it was Millie. Millie's another special one. That was my grandmother's name. And this one is more of a like white pearl gloss. And I think that it's so beautiful. My grandmother wore um, something really similar on her fingernails. She wore a Revlon nail polish. And that's kind of what I was going for when creating that gloss. And I just, mm, I think I'm rebusting out my angel costume for Halloween this year. And I will definitely be wearing the Millie gloss. And it just goes so well. And then I did also see some peony and I was like, okay, I felt really good that all three of my glosses were mentioned, like all three different shades were mentioned as well. And peony is going to be more of your pink with some beautiful shimmer in there too. So all of those are still available on the Ofra website and you can also purchase them in a trio. My discount code is Samantha there. A few other ones that I saw mentioned quite a bit, the Rare Beauty, um, the lip oils, and also the glosses from Rare Beauty I saw being mentioned. Uh, and then Tower 28, those glosses were mentioned quite a bit. I saw like pistachio, cashew, uh, so those ones. And I think that's everything that rounds out before we get into the top six. So those were some of the mentioned quite a bit, but not into the top category. And let me tell you what's in the top six because I was a little bit... I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit surprised. Y'all really came through with your top glosses in this one. All right, so coming in, I'll say at like number six, Marc Jacobs. The gloss sticks and specifically Sugar Sugar was mentioned the most and I was like, not that I forgot about these, but like I kind of forgot about these. I loved Sugar Sugar. So many people were talking about this, you know, what I'm going to say like 2016, 2017. I was like, I have to go buy this. I remember I wasn't even buying a lot of high end or especially luxury makeup yet at the time. And I was like, listen, I need to get sugar, sugar on my lips because everyone's wearing it. I feel like I'm not even a YouTuber if I don't have this on. It was beautiful. I loved it. I wore it all of the time. And that was really a blast from the past to seeing the Marc Jacobs gloss sticks. Does anyone still own those? And do you own sugar sugar? Leave it in the comments. And then next up at number five. Okay, this surprised me a little bit as well. But Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath got mentioned so much. I was like, all right. And I wrote down some of the specific shades because I didn't feel like there was necessarily a runaway shade. And again, not everyone wrote in specific shades or anything like that. But I felt like specifically for Pat McGrath, people were writing in specific shade names. So we had Nude Venus, Peach, can I read my handwriting? Peach Perversion, Love Potion, Pale Fire Nectar. Those are some of the top ones that I was seeing. I, I don't think I've tried any of the Pat McGrath lip glosses. But I was like, every time I saw another one for Pat and I went to go do a tally, I was like, okay, 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 okay. So have you tried the Pat McGrath glosses and do you love them? I don't know why I just I felt like that surprised me because pretty much everything else on the list I have heard a lot of people talk about I don't necessarily feel like I hear a lot about Pat McGrath lip glosses 
I don't, in my mind, I was gonna say lip oils and then next I was gonna say mascara. So I have no idea where my train of thought was going there. But that was the, that was the one out of my top six. I need to give me some pomegranate glosses. And then, so we had six by four. At number four, we have the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. Not super surprised and also, this is a dupe for what you're gonna see coming up. I almost gave it away. This is what people have said is a dupe. I remember reviewing them. I didn't think they were necessarily like dupes for each other, like they were close, but the Maybelline has a great price tag. I know a lot of people really love the lifter glosses. My friend Angelina, whenever we're out, she always pulls out her gloss and I'm always so nosy. I always wanna see like what people, especially those not in the beauty community, or like, I, I'm just always curious, like what is it that you are using? And so I'm always looking at what she's using and it's always been the Maybelline Lifter Gloss, but now it's my glosses with Ofra. But before that, it was always the Maybelline Lifter Gloss and I just always thought that was so interesting. So those still seem to be very popular. And number three, we had from Buxom. Not, mm -mm. Wasn't surprised in the slightest to see Buxom mentioned here. And I will say that Dolly and White Russian were mentioned the most. Um, those were the two shades that I kept seeing over and over again. I feel like White Russian is still a super popular shade with Buxom, but I also feel like Dolly is one that I hear about so frequently. Buxom glosses, I also could see that they were very popular in the online beauty community, but they were also very popular outside of the online beauty community. And sometimes, I talk about this a lot, like the differences between people who consume a lot of beauty content or are in the industry or YouTubers or watch a lot of the content versus people who do not. I, especially in Iowa, I had so many friends who loved these Buxom glosses. Whenever I would get PR from Buxom, I would always hold aside the glosses for my friends and they would get so excited about them because they were more expensive as well. So when I was like, here's two glosses, I mean, that's gonna last them the entire year and they would be so hyped about it. So 100% not surprised to see Buxom mentioned in this video. And then at number two, I got really excited because I talk about this gloss all of the time and I was like, yes, I love seeing it at number two. It is from Lawless Beauty, the Forget the Filler Lip Gloss. Not surprised, it's one of my favorites. I've gone through an entire one and as someone who has a larger makeup collection, constantly reviewing things, trying new things out, it's very rare for me to go through any full size product, but much less like a lip gloss, that's not something that happens very often. That one is so good. It makes your lips bigger and fuller, but without like a ton of extreme tingly feeling. Uh, it's just, it's one of my favorites and it just, it makes your lips look like your lips, but better in such a natural way. Like you really, like how the name says, forget the filler, like it really looks like for just that night, you know, just for like the time that you're wearing it. You got a little bit of mm, going on. Such a good one. If you haven't tried it yet, you must. And then we had, like I said, we had a runaway. We had a runaway for the lip glosses. Can you guess what it is? What I have not mentioned yet. The Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. Wow. Wow, there was a lot of votes for the, I mean, it just, I was like, tally, and I was like tallying off the page. I was like, uh, okay, I think, oh, okay. It very clearly was Fenty Beauty was going to be the winner from the first like, 25 responses that came in it was going to be Fenty Beauty I find I, I like the Fenty Beauty gloss bomb. I bought it. I liked it. I enjoyed it I, It wasn't one that I kept around because it wasn't personally a favorite of mine, but I still like it uh, but I feel like it speaks to a little bit of the popularity of Fenty Beauty and especially at the time that the gloss bombs were being released as well like I still think Fenty is a super popular brand but I do feel when the gloss bombs were coming out that Fenty was like really the it brand at the time and you know that kind of changes very frequently right like the it girls change the it brands change the it style changes so I kind of wondered if that played into people still having Fenty on the forefront of their mind when it comes to the glosses, or they still own the glosses. I'm just curious, like, do you still own your Fenty gloss? Have you gone through them? Have you repurchased them? Is it one of those that you constantly have to repurchase? Like, the Sephora sale is coming up. I am gonna do a video on the Sephora sale. Like, is that one of those that is kind of like an automatic, it goes in your cart, 
because you use it so much. Do you have a favorite shade? I will say for the Fenty, I didn't feel like there was a lot of specific shades that came through. Same with the Lawless Beauty. Not a lot of specific shade names that came through. So if you have a favorite Fenty shade, I would be curious to know. But that one was miles ahead of everybody in the lip gloss category. So that is it. Those are the all-time best lip glosses according to you. Thank you to everyone on my Instagram who wrote in and I would love to know. Drop yours in the comments. Let me know if your favorite wasn't mentioned either in the top six or in like the overall. Um, I, I think I do want to do lipsticks next. Let me know if you do want to see lipsticks, matte, liquid, like all, I'll probably just like group them all together like the top lipsticks. Let me know if there's any other categories you would like to give your opinion on and I'll see you in the next one.